I'm going to calculate the Laplace transform of the error function f of t. This turns out to be quite a quick and simple process because it relies heavily on results that have been derived elsewhere. Nevertheless, it is also a very neat demonstration of the formula for taking the Laplace transform of an integral with the variable t in the integration limits. Let's write down first of all the definition of the error function. If you're not very familiar with this function, it doesn't really matter. Just accept the definition for what it is. And believe me when I tell you it's very useful in statistics and in statistical areas of physics. The error function looks like this. There's an overall normalization factor at the front, 2 over root pi. The variable t is in the top limit of the integral, and u is just a dummy integration variable. The normalization factor 2 over root pi is chosen for a special reason because it makes earth of infinity equal to 1. That result follows from the integral of e to the minus u squared du from 0 to infinity, which turns out to be root pi on 2. I've proved that in a maths cast elsewhere. I've also discussed the error function in other maths casts. If you want to view those casts, just look for the words error function and integral of e to the minus x squared dx in the titles. So, let's now start by writing down the Laplace transform for the error function. It has to be the same as the Laplace transform of... We could take the normalization factor 2 over root pi out the way, out front. Then we just have the Laplace transform of the integral from 0 to t e to the minus u squared du. Now, this is where the formula for Laplace transform of an integral comes in. Let's suppose that f of t is a function whose Laplace transform is capital F of s. Then you should be aware of a formula that says the Laplace transform of the integral from 0 to t of little f, but now with an integration variable, a dummy variable, u, turns out to be just capital F of s over s. Now the form integral naught to t f of u du is precisely what we've got in our Laplace transform here for the error function. There's the factor 2 over root pi at the front, and the f of u is the e to the minus u squared. So we now need to take that little f and write it as a function of t and then find out the capital F of s that's associated with it. But that's the Laplace transform of e to the negative t squared. I've discussed that in a math math cast called the Laplace transform of e to the minus t squared. It turns out to be root pi over 2 e to the s squared over 4 times the complementary function, error function, of s over 2. The complementary error function, if you haven't met it, is just 1 minus the error function. So that's our capital F of s. So all we've got to do now for the Laplace transform of the integral is to divide by s and also remember the factor at the front, 2 over root pi. So here we go. L of f of t is 2 over root pi. Then can write out the capital F, that's root pi over 2, e to the s squared over 4, complementary error function of s over 2, and it's got to be over s. The 2's cancel, and the root pi's cancel, which is neat. So we end up with a fairly simple Laplace transform, e to the s squared over 4, complementary error function of s over 2 or over s. I'll conclude that.